Hi everyone and welcome to the farm. I'm glad you could join me. I'm creating nothing. <laughs> what do I mean by that? I had no plan. I really didn't. I wanted to make a soap and I was completely uninspired. I had no idea what I wanted to do. Now, one of my wonderful subscribers, Lena, had suggested a lavender mint. So I did follow that. This is a lemon, a lemon, listen to me. This is a lavender and peppermint soap. Uh, those essential oils, but nothing else about it did I plan out. I just started reaching for stuff. I really did. And thought, I will do a in the pot swirl. Maybe I'll do a hanger swirl. I just didn't know. <laughs> and really, I decided what I was going to do very last minute. I really did. So I tilted the mold and decided that I would try just a multi-level design, which I've done before and most of you have done too, if you're a sober. And I just wasn't feeling it. I don't know what it was. I think some of it is I'm excited about going back to work on Monday. I really am. Uh, Monday of next week. I'm really excited about that. But on that same token, I have had so much freedom to do things around here. Now, I haven't taken as full advantage of that as I wish I had. But nonetheless, it's been really nice. And it's been sort of like, wow, is this what retirement's going to be like? <laughs> I, I hope so. And that's not so many years away. I'm planning on retiring in about five years and maybe sooner. And I like the idea of having some freedom. But on that same token, I love having a job. And so all I've been thinking about is going back to work. And I'll be doing a bit of different work uh, at first. Uh, I'll be helping with some recruiting that's hiring back uh, a lot of people in the company, several hundred people. So I'll be doing that as well as my attendance and adherence work. So it's going to be busy, but I do look forward to it. But it's been on my mind a lot. See, no matter whether it's bad news or good news, <laughs> my little brain just can't always take it. And I shouldn't have tried to be creative. And I'm serious about that when my brain was so tied up. And that's why I ended up with this. Oh, I called it Crazy Quilt. Not because it necessarily looks like a quilt, but because I felt a little crazy when I was making it. And it shows. Um, it's imperfect. I, For instance, on this first layer, I didn't give it long enough. I should have waited the full 15 minutes and I didn't. I even put the instructions there on the screen, 10 to 15. Well, I should have waited full 15 because I came back actually in about 8 because I thought, oh, it looks good, and poured the next layer. And when I did, it sank through and some of the uh, green floated up to the top. And it's like, that's not what I wanted. And so I was disappointed right from the beginning of making this and just didn't feel very excited about it. So, but I don't mean to sound depressive here. That's not how I feel. I, it's a good soap, and it's, it's somewhat interesting. But my point, I suppose, if there is a point, is maybe it's not a good idea, not just for me, but maybe for any of us, to create when we're really not into it. Um, I did this more out of... Uh, boredom than the fun that I usually feel when I'm making soap. And it shows. 
so I wasn't having fun. I wasn't hating it or anything. I was thinking of other things. I was thinking about things I've got, passwords I have to get reset for work, and I need a new microphone, for a different headset that I use for work. A lot of different things were on my mind. And I was thinking about just all sorts of stuff. And you really shouldn't do that. Oh, it's fine to do deep thought while you're doing something like soaping. I've done it many times. It's very therapeutic. As a matter of fact, it's the most therapeutic thing generally that I do. But you have to be able to kind of multitask. And I didn't do a great job of multitask of multitasking in this particular example. And I'm actually talking down this soap, and that's not what I'm meaning to do. I'm just sort of sharing a bit of advice, at least to myself, if no one else. And that is, have a plan. Because I did not. I really didn't. Uh, now, I did basically made nine different batches of soap here, right? And I like doing that. I love doing stripes and design and haven't been doing as much of the design stuff lately. And that's really one of my favorite things to do. I like to make different kinds of molds and do an unusual look, that sort of thing. And I haven't been doing much of that lately. I haven't had that. My creative streak has been going in other areas like botanicals and things like that. And actually, Another soaper, who is also a subscriber here, told me that maybe I should do more of the botanical stuff. You know, tours outdoors and the walks and the gardening and that sort of stuff. That maybe there's more interest in that. But I love to soap. I want to be very clear. I love soaping and would do it every day if I could. So I don't want to suggest that I'm not going to continue to do that because I am. But when I'm feeling the way I was when I made this soap, I think I will go, you know what? I'm going to walk away and come back in an hour and then come up with something and truly be inspired. Because when I'm uninspired, it shows. And maybe it does for all of us. I don't know. And when you're doing a multi-layered soap like this, there are a couple of things. I mentioned um, giving it full time to set up, but also take care with the ingredients. For instance, the annatto. It tends to bleed a bit, and it did bleed through my sea clay there, so you could kind of see it through there. It doesn't affect the lines of the cut, but to if you really want it nice and clean, you, there are certain things you want to use a light hand with, that's all. And this was just a soap that I cut up. It was a soap that didn't come out so great, so I just shaved it into curls and put those on the top. And again, no specific plan. <laughs> this was all just on the on the fly it really was right off the cuff i just didn't give it a lot of thought and oh the, the contest duh <laughs> i'm putting together a, another video the frogs wanted to help out so and for those of you who don't know who the frogs are click on the playlist at the top and find the frog playlist That'll give you an idea of who they are and what they do here on the farm. And I have put together a really fun package. I'm really looking forward to giving this away to someone. And it'll be great for someone who's already a soaper or someone who's never soaked before. If you're just starting, there will be some great things here for you. And if you're a seasoned soaper, there may be a couple little things here that you'll take joy in too. And uh, when it came to the cut of this soap, it all went well. There were no problems with it, except it was a little soft. Because again, it's like from beginning to end, 
I made mistakes with the soap. I unmolded it too soon. I knew better. Because when you're doing multiple layers, well, each of those layers had lye that had to set up in it and all, at all different times. So you need to consider the very last layer that you do and count from there forward. And I didn't do that the way I normally do it. And so I took them out of the mold a little soon and it's slightly soft, not major, but too soft. I don't like to cut them this soft. But there you can see where that blue bled through the green and that really bothers me when that happens. It's not the first time I've had that happen. You'd think I would have learned this lesson, right? Well, I haven't. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Be watching for that drawing uh, video that's coming up tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.